Hey YouTube. One 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 second. Are you, are you sure we can't change the title? No. Alright then, I guess that's the title we're going with. <laughs> um you, you sure? I mean they there are people out there, they got weird No? Uh oh, fine. Uh so Though the title is a bit uh, misleading, I'm actually talking to no one. <laughs> I make these titles up myself. Um, yeah, so the, the title may be a bit misleading. I'm actually just talking about trains. <laughs> I'm sorry. Um, so, um... There's been a uh, thing recently, there's been, um, where I live, I sort of live close-ish to a little train that runs down that way, and there have been people, I guess, complaining about the whistle and that they find it annoying, and, um, it really got me sort of thinking, like, for the amount of time that I have lived where I am currently living, um, sorry, um, at first, well, actually, I don't think I've ever really been bothered by the train whistle. Maybe the first month, maybe it may have woken me up once or twice. But I think after that, I just sort of didn't really hear it anymore. Because you live somewhere so long that the noise around you that happens all the time, you start to get used to it. Um, so I was thinking, uh, with the whistle not blowing anymore... Um, sorry, um, with the train whistle not blowing anymore, with, um, the train whistle is used as a warning, um, to cars who are, like, passing by that there's a train coming. That's what, what it's there for. I mean, other than the, um... The, um, what are those things called? The little things that go down before the train? I, I don't know. The railroad crossing stopper thing things. Um, other than that, that's one of the only things that um, a car has to know that a train is coming. Because sometimes those little stopper things, like, something gets mixed up, and they could just come down and there's no train. Like, I've seen it happen before. And, um, then cars will just try to, you know, go around, and they'll just pass on through. But, like, let's say it's just uh, one of those slow trains. It's just one of those days that the train is going really slowly. And those little things come down like they always do. And then you're sitting there in your car. You look around, but you don't see a, a train coming. So you decide to go ahead and just pass on by. Just go through the little things. And then the train comes and you get hit. Like, for some reason, it was going slow, now it's going fast, I guess. Well, even if a train is going slow, it still can be really dangerous. Um, but yeah, and, um, there's always that chance of getting hit. So, I guess what the point I'm trying to get across is the train whistle is there for safety reasons. I mean, there's a lot of rules that we don't like. I know I don't like rules. Sometimes, 
but the majority of all rules are there for a reason. And if that rule is taken away, sometimes bad things happen. And, um, I guess we'll just, yeah, um, so yeah, I just wanted to sort of put that out there. I'm gonna try and balance my camera right here so I can take my jacket off. Warm, warm as heck in here. Sorry, <sighs> sorry about that. There we go. Yeah, I got a new jacket. I just wanted to show it off for this video. Even though it's the middle of summer and I probably won't be wearing it <laughs> until at least fall, spring, maybe. If it gets a little chilly in spring, which is not. <clears throat> which is not really normal for Texas. <sighs> so, yeah. Um, like, comment, subscribe. Um, next video, I will be starting something new. I believe I have, like, somewhere from 10 to 12 subscribers. I think it's 11 in the middle of 10, 12. Um, I think I have uh, 11 subscribers now. Um, of course, I think the majority of my subscribers are people that I personally know. Um, but for you, for those of you who don't personally know me, I want to answer your questions if you have any questions for me. Um, so, um, leave your questions in the comments of here and I'll answer them in the next video <clears throat> if I can sorry um if I if I get any questions I'll answer them in the next video and if I don't I'll just do my normal thing that I do so if you don't personally know me even if you personally know me you can still leave a question down below and I'll see you guys next time. Um, bye.